The consortium Electrico Atem Peru is formed by four companies that provide products and services to electrical transmission lines. The companies are specialized in the manufacturing of electrical transformers, of electrical hardware for power lines, in the manufacturing of polymeric insulators and specialized maintenance, and in the manufacturing of molds for plastic and rubber industries. Furthermore, one of the companies provides the rest with its products. Atem Peru Electrico was built on the decision to combine resources and share costs so that business activities could be carried out jointly in order to meet the demands of the national and international markets. The main achievements that we have attained thanks to the consortium have been, in the first place, concrete export agreements. Two members have already exported because, well, before we weren't able to achieve this alone, right? The second achievement has been connecting with support institutions, governmental entities, as well as international support organizations. We are now in contact with them. These are the main accomplishments. And there is also another very important point. We have achieved unity among the members of the consortium, right? Something which is rather difficult in Peru. In Peru, there are over 6,500 companies that export. 6,200 of them are SMEs, located in different regions of the country. This is why national institutions and regional governments are developing export consortia throughout the country with the support of UNIDO. There is one outstanding issue when it comes to ensuring sustainability of export growth. Exports have grown more than 30% during the last three years. And in 2008, we expect that we will reach a figure of $33 billion, with an important increase of non-traditional exports. To continue with this trend, we have to strengthen and to develop the capacities in the regions. In various regions, different governmental institutions such as Mincetur, Produce and private sector associations are cooperating to strengthen individual enterprise units through networks of enterprises, commonly known as export consortia. The multi-sector consortium MUYU is specialized in alpaca clothing, ceramics and jewelry and is formed by four companies from Cusco. Due to the success experience, the consortium is thinking of increasing its production lines as well as of creating a handicraft training workshop in order to maintain the quality of its products. They are in the process of reformulating their strategy through the implementation of a new business plan, which essentially seeks to create a new range of products. This is why Muyu has hired a manager in charge of incorporating each one of the company's individual concepts so as to create unique products as a consortium. My role in the consortium is to integrate the business management of the companies that form the consortium with the objective of seeking a coherent supply of products that are developed in an integral manner according to the consortium's possibilities and targets. We have already developed some products jointly, incorporating elements or parts from one company to the other, such as the case of textiles with ceramics or jewelry with textiles. 
We have developed products that have allowed us to access new and more demanding and competitive markets, haven't we? The ultimate objective of the Muyu Consortium is to become a global company, highly competitive. We know that this is a long-term goal, but it is possible, and I know that we will achieve it. One of the main functions of the Lima Chamber of Commerce is promoting the competitiveness of companies. This is why it offers a series of programmes to assist SMEs with their process of internationalisation. Building capacities of SMEs in various areas through training is one of the main activities. The Chamber has a centre for business training, where the sixth workshop for the training of export consortia coordinators took place, with the sponsorship of UNIDO. The Chamber of Commerce has already formulated a project in order to establish a financial incentive scheme to provide support to the promotional activities of export consortia. We believe that one of the problems SMEs face here in this country is the lack of access to credit. And the lack of access to credit sometimes goes hand in hand with very high interest rates for those credits that are actually granted. Hence, offering a fund and incentive scheme that may be helpful for financing the activities of export consortia, we think that this is very important and we already have defined its modalities of operation. The rapid success experienced by the program for the creation of export consortia in Peru can be explained by the following factors. A public-private partnership that involves more than 20 institutions. The emphasis on national and regional capacity building through various types of training courses. A team of qualified and motivated promoters of export consortia and a dynamic business environment that has been highly receptive to the programme. A promising future can be foreseen in which export consortia multiply, accelerating the internationalisation process of Peruvian small and medium enterprises.